What's that, sweetheart? You're not smart. I don't think you're smart. I don't think you're smart. If you were smart, you would know that's what's funny about the joke. That's the exact thing that's funny about the joke. But I think your math brain isn't creative enough to understand humor. No, no, I'm being serious. No, no. I'm being, I don't think your brain is made for humor. Like, and you're probably really good at other things, but your brain, I don't think is made for it. I'll give you a chance for the rest of the show to try to laugh, but if you find yourself not laughing, just know I'm not smart enough. That's what you have to remind. Your brain doesn't work for it. It's not everybody. I'm sure you're really good at engineering. No, you're really good at engineering, ruining other people's nights. Um, um, being selfish. You got all those down, but humor is not for you. That's fair. And look, there is a place to go if you don't like humor. It's, no, you shouldn't go to hell. Why would you go to hell? That's for funny people. You're not gonna ruin our time in hell too? How dare you, bitch? You gonna follow me to fucking hell, bitch? You out your fucking mind? I gotta deal with you here and in fucking hell? Do you think he can, he can behave for one story? No, you can't? Really? Do I have, to, I have to kick you guys out? That would suck. It's your birthday? I don't give a shit. <laughs> I really don't. It's not... That's such a childish fucking thing to say. It's my birthday. I can interrupt your entire show. Can you imagine if someone just like crashed into your car and you're like, dude, he's like, it's my birthday. So I didn't... <laughs> I'm, I'm allowed to behave like an idiot. And you're like, okay, but that doesn't excuse your behavior. <laughs> it's your birthday. I know, he's going with what I was saying. I mean, it's the same volley. <laughs> it's my birthday. You know what I heard, actually, is that on 9-11, it was Osama bin Laden's birthday. So I, I forgive him. I think it's totally cool. Yes, I compared this table of four women to ISIS. And I don't... I don't feel bad about it. Um, I think your boots are really sexy. What? Your boots are really sexy. Thank you. Maybe tell me that later <laughs> instead of during a performance. <laughs> so, you're not you're not welcome to speak. I'm trying to make that really clear. <laughs> to everybody at the same time. It is not appropriate to yell shit at me right now. It is less appropriate to yell at me than almost anybody within several square miles. If you yell at a guy on the street, you're not ruining a show for 2,500 fucking people. So it's literally I'm one of the few people and a pilot you shouldn't talk to. Those are the only people. A pilot flying a plane at that moment and me doing this. And a ballerina. The three of us, leave us the fuck alone so that we can give you what you paid for. For you, not for me. I don't care, I can't be hurt. I can't be. I'm 45 years old. I have used up every kind of crime, and it's all, I've used them all. It's like you can't jerk off to the same picture more than like three or four times, then it just becomes nothing, like a blank piece of paper. That's how all my feelings are now. That's how all of my emotions and impulses are. Yeah, I know about that, that's fine, I've done that. <laughs> no reaction. Female sexual energy, beautiful and sublime, even in masturbation. Even when they masturbate, it's like a rack man and off concerto played across the clitoris. <laughs> Female sexual energy. Right. You're missing one thing. Right, this turn the lights up for 10 seconds while I can quickly dismantle this human being's self-belief. Okay, what are you use, darling? <laughs> is there is alcohol, it's invaded your consciousness and the alcohol is telling the you that you have things that are worth saying. The alcohol is lying to you now. 
Later, after the show, if your face is not as ugly as your voice, <laughs> we will occupy that gaping orifice in your head. Not with my cock, though. Something dipped in herpes we will drape across your face and seal it shut with leprosy and scabs. Please, God, be visited by a holy disease. $9,000 to fucking fly here. You know what I mean? Yeah. No offense, but there's no Eiffel Tower here. I think that's a little pricey. Someone doesn't know how to walk up them. That's that voice. Did you call? Did you call a clever? Thank you. That's why she said it. She said it. Not like I was ten feet away. She said it like I was downstairs in the rec room. She's changing the fuse or something. That's If I could say one thing about the real heroes of the uh, country, which I believe are the teachers, you know? Um, I don't really, I don't believe they're the real heroes. <laughs> I just spoke again. I actually, I think the real heroes are the real heroes. <laughs> Teachers, they get good press because people often say to me, you know who the real heroes are? I go, are they the real heroes? They go, no, I go, oh, they're the teachers. <laughs> it's it's counterintuitive that it doesn't seem like a heroic job, but yes. <laughs> First of all, if you're a teacher, you get the same fucking vacations as a child. <laughs> you get the, like four months a year off. You know? <laughs> My vacation? I get I, almost no time off. I work 48 weeks a year. <laughs> like four weeks a year I get off. What about you? <laughs> you're not one of those fucking teachers, right? <laughs> like a teacher. <laughs> now, are you a teacher? What do you teach? What grade? High school. What grade? What grade? High school. Yeah, what grade? <laughs> Not so uh, easy when it's the other way around. <laughs> it's not as easy to ask the questions. <laughs> the real heroes are other fucking students. <laughs> I don't actually have to answer the question. <laughs> now, what grade, what grade do you teach? 9 through 12. 9 through 12. So you need a grade 13 education. <laughs> now, you're, now, you're the real hero. Now, you're the real hero. No, I'm just kidding. You're the real hero. <laughs>